For Jesus Christ, nothing, nothing was more real than the kingdom of God. Nothing was more compelling. Nothing was more beautiful and more precious to him than the kingdom of God. So when he's saying pray for the kingdom of God to come on earth as it is in heaven, he's showing you what he cares about the most. In his life and his death and his resurrection, it is a kingdom that will come. It will be consummated. And so we wait for the day, Revelation 21. The dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God and he will wipe every tear away from their eyes. And death shall be no more. When the kingdom comes, death shall be no more. There will be no more weeping, no more mourning, no more crying, no more pain for the former things have passed away. And y'all, we're waiting. The next thing on God's redemptive calendar is the return of the kingdom. And we've gotten little bits and snippets and pieces of it, the thin places, but one day it will absolutely descend and death will be no more. And there will be no more turning on the TV and seeing missiles exploding like firecrackers in the sky. And there will be no more cancer. And there will be no more awkward, horrible weirdness in our relationships. There'll be no more fear. It'll be totally done away with. And Jesus Christ, it so animated him. It so filled him with so much joy that he did every single bit of this. Y'all, we do not bring the kingdom to the world. It is his kingdom. He brings it and he brings it through us. So we have hope. 